Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk about how much money you actually need to have to consider purchasing a home. I'm Mae Kunkka with Remax Elite Realty here in the San Gabriel Valley and I cover the greater Los Angeles area. So I, cut, I get this question a lot about how much you actually need to purchase a property. Well, there's a couple of things that you have to consider. One is you'd have to consider down payment and how you get that down payment is you take a average of the purchase price that you're looking at and you take that percentage. And I want to talk about what percentage to use um, in a little bit. The other thing to consider is closing costs. So how much you have to pay for fees and then also reserves, how much extra money you have to have in your account um, just to have left over after you made that purchase. So going back to percentage, um, the first thing you want to do is go ahead and talk to a lender. Um, I've talked about this before, if you've seen some of my other videos, find out where you are on the map of getting a loan. Um, do you qualify? And if so, how much do you qualify for? And how does your position look? Meaning, how's your credit? Um, how's your debt to income ratio? How much you make versus how much you owe? That lender can then tell you, you know, hey, you qualify for 400,000, 500,000. If those numbers work for you, then there, you have the number you qualify for. Then what they'll tell you is, based on the type of loans that you qualify for, what kind of down payment they're looking for. Now, some people qualify for what we call a VA loan, which is a veteran's loan, and they don't have to put anything down. That is you know, an incentive that's given to them for all the work that they've done and the service that they've provided. So that's really awesome. Police officers as well, they qualify for those types of loans and you don't have to put a down payment. So if, if you qualify for one of those loans, um, technically, if your income level is there, you don't need to have a down payment ready to go. Now, um, there's anything as low as 3% down to 3.5% down. So what you wanna do is just take the purchase price. Let's just make the number really easy, like 100,000. And if your down payment qualification amount is that you have to put 3% down, then you just multiply that by 3%, which is 3,000. So um, that's one way to look at it. So you can kind of prepare yourself. Another thing you have to account for is the closing costs associated with purchasing a property. Now, the closing costs entails um, escrow fees, title fees, lender's fees, um, property tax, insurance, and also out-of-pocket fees like um, home inspections and appraisal. So because everything's based on the sales uh, purchase price, it's hard to kind of tell you exactly what it is going in, but a good frame of reference would be one to 2% of the purchase price that you're going in for. Um, I would say 2% it's on the high end, it's probably closer to 1% and a little bit over. And then um, lastly, you have to have reserves. So for example, if you um, need 20,000 for your down payment and you know that your closing cost is gonna be roughly $5,000 um, and then your monthly payment's gonna be another thousand, um, you need to have at least, if you can do math pretty quickly, uh, you need to have $2,500, I mean $25,000 to pay for all the fees, down payment, and your closing costs. And then you have to have at least two to three thousand dollars in your bank account left over at a minimum so that you don't zero out after you pay for all these fees. The bank wants to make sure that you can at least accommodate your first couple months of payments. So those are some of the things you have to keep in mind and it's always good to know going backwards what you need to prepare because a lot of times um, I have buyers who are very prepared and ready to go once we meet and there's some that's just like, hey, I really like this house, I make good money, um, I want to start looking for a house and there's all this back stuff, you know, back end stuff that we have to work on. And sometimes they do make a lot of money, but the savings isn't there. They're spending a lot and the down payment just isn't there. These funds need to be sitting in your account for a while. It has to be seasoned for 60 days. So there's a lot of moving parts to prepare yourself to purchase. Um, and there's also a lot of affordable ways to do it. I know it can add up depending on what where your market is. Um, some homes are two, three hundred thousand, and some could be upwards of six, seven, and eight just to get in. So those numbers can increase tremendously depending on um, what's required in that area. But look into the cities that you're looking for. Sometimes there are city 
um, incentive programs that would help out low-income buyers or first-time home buyers. Um, a lot of people do ask me about is there first-time home buyer programs? Um, yes and no. I mean, it just depends on what's available. Keep in mind the city ones, they're all dependent on that city and they do have their own criteria. And you know, most of the times that I've encountered, they're very few, meaning they, they have a small budget to work with. Sometimes they have a million dollars to loan out, which could easily be just one or two homes if the area is selling for you know, around half a million. So look into those programs, um, check in with your credit union, check in with your local banks and ask around to see what kind of incentives they have, what kind of low down payment programs they have, or if there is any down payment assistance that can help out too. So pay attention to those things, make some adjustments if you're, you're kind of a short ways away from being where you wanna be, but there's tons of things that you can do and it's always best to prepare. Go see a lender early, it doesn't cost anything. They can help you to get from point A to point B quicker than you doing it yourself. They know the trick of the trades. They can make very good recommendations. So if you need a good lender, let me know. I have a ton that I can refer you out to um, for your area. So I hope that was helpful, especially if you're thinking about purchasing. If you have any additional questions regarding um, purchasing a home, selling home, anything real estate related, I hope that you will reach out to me, private message me, or um, comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like the videos if you enjoyed it. Share if you know anyone who's interested. And again, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Thank you so much. Have an awesome afternoon. Bye.